what's happening, man? What's going on, everybody, man? Stay got range. We here with another video, man. I'm giving y'all a. I want. I don't want to class. A, I didn't want to classify it as a story time. Like I didn't want to put it in that playlist or that category on this channel right now. Cause I've been telling you guys a lot of story times, but I guess it technically is a story time if you want to get down technical to the bottom of it. I'm gonna be telling y'all guys how I pranked my girlfriend, man. This is recently. I don't want to classify it as a story time because it recently just happened. Like two days ago, but I guess it is a story time, so it's whatever though. But I pranked my girlfriend, man. Gave her hair. Uh, what am I trying to say? I gave her her Christmas gift early. I gave it to her two days ago. It was on Friday, and uh, tomorrow, Monday, December nineteenth, will be our anniversary, our one year and three uh, one year and three months. I can't talk. But anyways, dude. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys how I pranked her because I believe it's gonna be a good it's gonna make up for a good story on this channel I want to get it out there tell you guys what happened and went down. So let's get into it man So originally I was supposed to I bought her a ring I bought her a promise ring and Originally I was thinking like I was thinking like how am I supposed to give this her? I want to do it in a creative way I don't just want to get down on one year or whatever the normal people do. I don't want to. I don't want to be normal out here, man. I don't want to do what the normal people do and the plain, just you know, bland people be doing out here. Whatever. Whenever they give their people, their girl a promise ring and whatnot. I don't want to be that normal person. So I got to think of a creative way. I know I'm a creative guy. So you know, I'll be thinking of a lot of ideas in which I can produce and display a way of giving her a ring. So that's what I was thinking. So I thought about like, okay. I got my boy Faded two times. And look, I, I know Faded two times. I know Famous K, Sheila J. We all know each other in person, man. We all went to the same elementary school. I think I told you guys that. I'm not too sure. But now, if I didn't tell you guys, now you know. I know Faded two times. I got, I got all their numbers, but I got Faded's number. And I had actually used him. He actually was part of this plan to get my girl this ring. Because uh, what I did was I used Faded as a fake unknown number. Now, the whole plan was that I was supposed to get shot by somebody. So, I used somebody from my old neighborhood, if you guys don't know this. I used to live in Chicago, but I moved to the suburbs because the neighborhood that I was living in was turning bad. And right now, currently, it is terrible. It's, it's, the, it's technically turning into the ghetto, man. It's turning into the hood. And we had to get out of there fast as possible. So, I had moved out of that neighborhood into the suburbs. And now, what I used Faded as was a person that was trying to get at me because I said... Oh, I got some people trying to get me. They, uh, cause the school I went to, I went to a Lutheran school, but right next to my school was another school. It was like a little a community public school that had like bad kids and whatnot. So I told my girlfriend, oh, there's this guy from that school that I used to go to or around the school that I used to go to that's trying to get me because it was an old drama. You know, I stole a shirt from him or whatnot. I stole something from him and now they after me. They just now bringing it up and they trying to get their revenge. They trying to get their payback on me. So I told my girl that she thought it was, she thought it was a joke, but I understand that. I be joking with my girl a lot. You know, you gotta have a, she gotta have a funny nigga on her. So, you know, you know, I be joking around a lot with her. Me and Faded be joking around a lot with her. So we in a group chat with her. Me, Faded, and uh, my girlfriend, we all in the group chat together. And I'm just bringing up all the, I showed them, I showed them screenshots of what me and Faded was talking about. But Faded's contact name at this moment was unknown number because I tried to act like it was a unknown number that was texting me which is supposedly supposed to be the guy that's after me saying like oh we we gonna get you man we gonna shoot you they sent me gun pics and what i was like they sent me gun pics they trying to get me they trying to you know shoot me or whatnot they trying to jump me and Jalen and or y'all know faded as Jalen if y'all you know if y'all watch those videos but that's how it was going down so then after that she started to kind of believe she started to turn towards the fact that it probably wasn't a joke and she started to believe it so i was like Man, I gotta go. I gotta go back to my old town. I gotta go back to my old neighborhood and settle it with them. So next week, I'm gonna be settling this situation with them. And she was like, "No, you can't be going there. What if they jump on you? What if they shoot you and whatnot? What if you get in trouble?" And she was like, "If you going, I'm going." So I'm like, "Then she's starting to really believe it. Deep down inside, she still believes it's a joke. But she's starting to turn toward the fact that, oh, this might not be a joke because I've been saying all this stuff like, oh, they trying to, they trying to jump me, they trying to shoot me and whatnot. They sent me gun pictures and I said, I sent some." It's, it's all this gang talk that we having right now and it's like she's starting to believe it a little bit so i planned by i planned this out to give her this ring by inviting her over to my house two days ago which was friday and i wanted to give her her gifts i already got her christmas socks she already seen the christmas socks 
that I gave her. So I gave her that first. But she came into my room. You know, when she first walked into my house, I was expecting her to sit down on the couch, the living room couch, because that is where I was going to do the scene where I get shot and whatnot, then I pull out the ring. But instead, she came up to my room. She started playing 2K with She Loves Jane and whatnot. So that kind of altered, you know, that kind of postponed me doing my ring proposal and whatnot. So it's like, man, she, she's taking too long. What is she doing? I got to get her down into this living room and whatnot. So this is Friday and whatnot. And then she she's still in my room and whatnot. She playing 2K with She Loves Jay. She over there playing my team against them, having a conversation with them. And then uh, later on, she comes down to the living room. That's when my mom come home. And now uh, we go down to the living room. We start watching TV a little bit. She eating some ice cream, I guess. And, uh, you know, I had to go ahead and make up an excuse for me to uh, go outside. Because when I go outside, that's where I'm going to pour this fake blood on me. I actually got fake blood from Party City. A pint of fake blood from Party City. So I was going to pour that on my shirt and say, like, oh, I got stabbed or shot by the guys. They tried to run off. So what had happened was I went outside. Before I went outside, I actually asked to have her phone because I wanted to call my dad. I had to make up an excuse to go outside saying like, oh, I have to see if the basement is not flooding from all this snow. I had, I said some stupid stuff or like the gutter wasn't frozen and whatnot, like the gutter isn't stopped up. I had to make up some stupid excuse to go outside and I had to use her phone and say, oh, I have to call my dad. But I really didn't because I didn't want her to end up calling, the, calling 911 or dialing 911 or whatnot, calling the police while I'm outside. So I come into the house. With this blood, I had to go outside in the cold, snow and whatnot. Pour this blood on my shirt, and I came in like, oh, I just, got, they, they shot me. They, they stab. I said they stabbed me, and whatnot. And she was over there, like, hurry up, lift your hand. This better not be a joke. And she was over there. At first, she thought it was a joke because the blood did look a little sketchy. But then I started acting like I was passing out or dying or like fainting and stuff. I started acting like I was losing my conscience and whatnot. And then that's when she started saying like, oh, Steve, Steven, stop. You scaring me. You scaring me. Stop. And then she was like, let me see it. Lift your hand. Let me see the cut. Let me see the wound. And I, I said, you really want to see it? And then when I said, you really want to see it? She saw what she was asking for. I, I let her see this ring. And it was a, it was a beautiful ring, you know. She really liked the ring. And then she started. We started laughing it off a little bit. So it was a nice, nice thing to do. So that's how I pranked my girlfriend, dude. It was pretty funny, man. All the events led up to this, and it was just funny. Now she don't gotta worry about me really getting shot because it was all just a joke. But anyways, man, if you like this story, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Subscribe. Drop a like on this video.